so, okay, so what does sticking to the basics then mean, right, if we're, if we're going to stick to the basics, right? Like what, is, what, 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 what does that mean to you? What are the basics that you're sticking to? The very basics to me are just stances, holding the saber, guards. Whatever. What are the basic guards? Oh, middle, high, low. Okay, so, so, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Shicho is the basics, right? You have three things to learn in each category, right? You have three types of parries. You have three types of strikes. You have, you know, uh, you know, you have your, I mean, there's six, six target zones, but two of, two sides are the same, right? So, there you go. It's all very, very simple. Footwork, right? Tuck slides going back and forth. Okay. <clears throat> if you stay here and move between these three guards, right, you will get far. I guarantee you. You don't need to to get other other things going, right? <clears throat> if I'm in low guard, I learn how to do things from low guard, right? Okay, same with middle guard. I learn how to do things from those positions, right? Then, when we get going, we just do real light slow, when we start going here, and, you see? it becomes less confusing for us because we know kind of like basic positions, okay? Now, on the other hand, if I come in here and I go like this, right, I'm essentially, number one, presenting my hands to be struck, which they will be, right? Also, I'm telegraphing, not even telegraphing, you're like shouting it to the world. I'm going to be striking over here. Okay, because your blade's way over there, right? And that's why we keep them here, okay? So keeping them right here in the middle, right along the center line there. Now, later on, you will get into guards which tempt attacks to come in from a particular angle, right? And that's a different thing. But what we don't want to telegraph our strikes by going up here like this. And the under, underneath, the rising under strike is a very, very good, good example of where basics really comes in handy, okay? Because if this is the most common thing people do, right? Because it feels smooth and it's wonderful, right? But notice, I'm not hitting him. Right? Because when my blade is at where it should be, it's pointing down. Okay? When I want to go up, you see, I go like that. Okay? All I have to do to make contact, shift forward a little bit. Okay? Same thing there. Okay? But I don't lead with my hands. Okay? I don't hold the saber here like this. I hold it here in low guard. When he comes for my hands, I've got bunches of things that I can do. I can, if he comes for my hands there, I can push it over to the side and come to the top. Or here and come on the bottom. But notice, when, my, when it gets to here, my blade's got to be up. You see? So really, if I wanted to strike up, I'm going from there. And that's why sometimes it's easier to strike up from high guard than it is low guard. Actually, it's probably easier to strike anyway from high guard because that's the guard where the blade's back, right? It's already got a chambered strike in it, right? So if we're here and I come underneath, you see, I get a nice, right? And it's quick, right? It's not, it's not slow. Right? I can easily get this strike out from, from up there. Now, if I'm trying to target his knee from up here, that's probably a gambit. Right? I would probably focus more on the upper body or anything like that. But again, these are things that come with, with experience and training. Now, most of your training is going to be by yourself. 
right? You're not going to have another person, right? And that's where all of these little rules and guidelines and you know nitpicky things come in handy, right? Why do a set of movements rather than just going free form? It's harder, okay? Your body has to do something correct, right? It's not doing something totally free and just going where the path of least resistance is, right? And that's what will happen if you, if you spar too much or... It's the reason why in, in actual martial arts you don't spar for... At, uh, mo any, most of the schools I studied with, you didn't spar for at least a year. You had to be in the school, you had to know a bunch of stuff before you even went up against another person. Up to that point, it was all stuff like this. That's it, you know, over and over and over again. And in fact, my first teacher had me just doing this, right, for a year. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? And it, it, there's all these details that he's like, he would look at the way people spin it now and be like, ha, ah! right? Because there's all this stuff that he wanted in there. I, you have to be able to strike at any point with this. So I got to strike, when it's going this way, I have to be able to strike with that, right? When it's coming this way, I got to be able to strike with that. This way, right? All of that kind of thing. And that's where we have the pump right there. That's where that came from, because if I do this, I can get a lot of power that way, right? But it was nitpicking that little movement. None of this, <laughs> none of all that kind of stuff, just that. You know, it was infuriating. <laughs> right, absolutely. Yeah. However, it, yeah, it worked, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's, so, so that's one of those things. Be real simple about it. From here, you've got really simple strikes, right? Tags up like that, you can come around like that, anywhere there, middle guard, right? Know when to use middle guard, don't hang out there, right? Middle guard is not a place to hang out, okay? If he's in middle guard, this is committed forward, number one, so that's not good, right? Number two, hands very open, we have no guard. Right? So that's, that, that's the other thing. If this is good, if, if they're coming in over here and, and you're, you're starting to start off like that and you're getting a lot of shots to the side of the head up here, you want to go in, middle guard is a good place. But middle guard should be a transition spot, right? He wants to be in there when we're away, right? So that he, yeah. See, comes right up into there. Even if I, he can't get that one, he can back it up, bring it over to here, and that's where his there. And now all he has to do is lift up his hands in the high guard. You see? Yeah, or you know, bring, bring it around in any way, any way he wants. Okay. So <laughs> three guards. Don't make it more complicated. All right. This. This footwork right here, right? Really, uh, you got to know this for weapon work. That is the thing. If you can't do this reliably, so. But so that's that's really really important. Just learning, cut slide, three phase, and then passing or full. Right. <clears throat> okay. Don't worry about looking cool, right? Right, no. That's, that's great for, for looks and stuff like that, but if you get into that habit and you don't know what you're doing, you're essentially going to be swinging at people like this, right? Where you see how my blade doesn't even come near him, right? I can be like right here. It's great for the movies. Right. That's yeah. exactly what they do in the movie. Oh, it, absolutely, it's, right. It, it's total correct. But, ah! Exactly. You know, he goes flying and it looks great. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. 
But you have the you have the benefit of a camera angle there. Right, exactly. You get the camera like right, yeah. right here, and it does, it's totally consistent. Yeah, you don't. You know, it does. It does not. Yeah, yeah. If we just do it for the camera here, right here, and I go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. But <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So um, yes, stick to the basics. The basics are <laughs> what you basically. The basics are what you are going to inevitably fall back on in a real life situation, right? You will not stay at a high level, I guarantee you, unless you're, you're, you're fighting people who are way worse than you, just for fun, and then shame on you, <laughs> right? And, you know, find, find opponents that, you know, that, 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 you know, make you work, that are Push you and challenge. Quick push and think, but stick to your basics. Don't try to play their game. Don't try to do. You see tons of people going, all, you know, doing all sorts of. Right. No. <laughs> Keep it real, real simple. This reliably. It's over. Just put the thing down and walk away. <laughs>